the ant and the sugar. Aunt Lucy had a house and a garden. She lived in the house, and a hundred ants lived in the garden. One day, one of the ants, whose name was Thomas, said, "I'm going to look for something to eat." So he crawled under the back door, and across the kitchen floor, and up the kitchen cupboard door, till he came to the keyhole, and he crawled through the keyhole. There he was. In the kitchen cupboard, he looked round and he saw a great big bowl of sugar. Oh, he said, just what I like best! And he sat down and began to eat the sugar. It was sweet as sweet. He ate and ate and got fatter and fatter, till at last he could eat no more. Then he decided to go home, and started to crawl out through the keyhole. But he had got so fat eating the sugar that he couldn't get through it. Poor Thomas sat down and cried. He knew his mother would be waiting for him. Again he tried to get through the keyhole, but it was no good. He was too fat. So he waited. And to make himself thinner, he did exercises. He touched his toes and did deep breathing, and he ran round and round the cupboard until at last he was quite thin again. He was just going to crawl through the keyhole and go home, when he felt weak with hunger. So he thought, "I'll just have a little something before I go," and he ate some sugar. It was lovely, so he ate a lot to get his strength up to walk all the way home. Then he started to crawl through the keyhole, but he couldn't. He was too fat again. So he waited and did his exercises again until he grew thin. Then he started to go home. He felt ever so hungry, but this time. He knew better than to eat more sugar. He crawled on through the keyhole and down the cupboard, across the kitchen floor, under the back door, and out into the garden. When he got home, he told his mother all about the sugar. She called all the other ants together and said, "Let us go and see Aunt Lucy." So they crawled across the garden and under the back door. Across the kitchen floor, into the passage beyond, and then into Aunt Lucy's sitting room, across the carpet, up the side of her chair, and into Aunt Lucy's lap. She was pleased to see them. They told her all about Thomas and how he could get into the cupboard before eating sugar and couldn't get out after eating it. So Aunt Lucy said that she would always leave a little saucer of sugar for them on the kitchen floor, in the corner. All the ants said, "Thank you very much," and kissed Aunt Lucy a tickly kiss, and went home.